I was a notorious sinner, drug dealer, alcohol and drug abuser, liar, cheater, greedy, prideful, idol worshiper, unfaithful. And what did we do? We decided to bring a baby into the world. We thought that would fix things. Now that only made things harder and it brought more distance between us. And to top it off, I lost that job that helped create this self-sufficient monster. I was depressed, I was empty and lonely, I was miserable. I felt like a horrible man, I felt like a horrible father. But I kept faking it and I kept putting on that mask. I wandered aimlessly for months professionally. I, mean, I was an empty shell. And in November of 2012, I lost my second job in six months. And I remember coming home and telling Jackie and she looked at me and said, we need to go to church. And we went. And the Holy Spirit shot me right in the heart and rocked me to my core. For the next few months, Jesus was tugging at me and I resisted, I was running. The drugs weren't fixing me, marriage wasn't fixing me, the job and money weren't fixing me, my son wasn't fixing me. I really was at a dead end. On December 31st, 2012, I recall drinking a lot and then going to bed and, and just, I felt like giving up. And God had knocked every single prop out from under me that was holding me up. Yes, this was the man I was when I woke up on New Year's Day, 2013. But this is the day that I went from broken to chosen. This was the day that I met Jesus in a real way. This, this was the day that he stood in front of me with his hand out offering me a new start. It was Jesus saying, you're not your past or what your parents said or what the world says. You are mine and I died to purchase you and I created you for an eternal purpose and I can change your heart and I can fix your mess and I can break this generational curse. So here I sat in front of the way maker, in front of the chain breaker and I wept in guilt. And it was Jesus who said, give me your guilt, give me your sins, you are free. And I sat there where I sit today in this empty space of forgiveness while I watch Jesus walk to my cross. And it's where all my pride fades. It can also be said that as goes the Father, so goes the family. Yes, as I decided to follow Jesus on this day, He began to radically change everything. My heart, my mind, my marriage, my leadership. He came in and completely overhauled my life in every area and everything went from dead to alive, from empty to full, purposeless to purposeful. See, I was on the path of seduction that leads to destruction. And the Lord came in and took me off the wide road and put me on the narrow road. He called me out of the grave. And for this, I will serve him with all I have. And I will tell the world the wonderful things he's done for me. And here's the bigger point. He can do it for you right now. He's inviting you into right standing with him and wants to do the same for you. If only you would truly surrender. Friends, he is much better at being God. You and I, we suck at trying to be God. And my life is an absolute testimony of this. Surrender today. All prodigal children are welcome. And the father is there to meet us.